Hello folks, wondering what you're looking at? You're looking at one of my original paintings from 2008. Yes, this is called Quiet Reflections. Uh, a lot of you don't realize that between the year 2000 and the year 2013, I actually just painted landscapes, wildlife scenes, campfires, uh, summer scenes, anything that really uh, piqued my imagination. I uh, used to be a big fan of Bob Ross, and I uh, used to watch him on uh, PBS all the time, his little half-hour show. I used to, uh, Terry Redland, of course, uh, Thomas Kincaid, William Alexander, and zillions of other artists that I really admired. So I decided to start painting back in about 2000. And, uh, of course, you know, you have to learn as you go along. And basically, you're not great when you first start, but you get better, you get better, and you get better, of course, right? So it took me a while to kind of get up to this level. So basically, I, I, you know, I made some mistakes when I first started. Of course, all people who do artwork do. You know, it depends on what you're... I'm kind of like a perfectionist. Um, I want to try to create something that really people will look at and go, Hey, that's not too bad. You know, I, but actually, like I said, we're going to be doing a whole series of these paintings. I have probably about 15 or 20 of these paintings that I still have in my closet. So this is the first of many um, paintings I'm going to be showing you that I actually finished back when I was really hyped up in painting, oil painting, I should say. And a lot of you are just going to go, wait a minute, where's Spidey Presents? Where's Penny Lonely Clown? Well, they're not going anywhere. So anyway, like I said, I really love painting. Like I said, I just kind of came up with this out of my own imagination. This could be anywhere in the world where there's winter. I just wanted to kind of make a bleak winter scene, no cabins, just like a frozen over lake or stream with, uh, you know, with, with pine trees and stuff like that. If you look, notice it goes way back. So basically what you do, I had to learn too when I was uh, first starting. You start with the background, right? The sky, you kind of work forward until you get way down here, uh, the end of the painting, the bottom of the painting, so to speak. So basically, I know a lot of you are going to go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He actually did this painting? Yes, I did. I kind of think it's pretty good. I had a lot of compliments on it in, uh, in uh, the years that I showed it off and off on and off on uh, social media and stuff, along with my other paintings, of course. But a lot of you are going to go, wait a minute, this doesn't even come close to what he's doing on YouTube right now. I'm going to be putting this on YouTube, along with those other paintings that I just talked about. And then I'm actually going to be starting my own uh, series of paint paintings again. You know, I want, I want to keep creating new works. So basically, this is just kind of getting me re-inspired to paint again. I already got all my oil paints, my canvas, my easel right here. You know, all my brushes and supplies. And I, you know, I just kind of like wing it, folks. I don't really come, I don't, really don't look at photographs so much. I kind of just kind of like think about it like a winter scene, like a summer camping scene, stuff like that. You know, you come up with your own individual ideas, you know. These are all original works. They're, they're not from any kind of photograph or nothing, except what's in my mind, you know, basically. Ooh, Penny has a mind. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you know what I'm doing. I mean, if you have any questions about this painting, feel free to uh, comment in the description below on the YouTube uh, uh, posting. And we're up to about 347 right now. Basically, like I said, like I said, when you first, ooh, when you first start these paintings, you kind of want to start from the very beginning, which is the sky. And then you kind of work down to, the, to the, the, the pine trees way in the back, like you're looking at, you know, you're looking at a distance right there. So, and then you're kind of just kind of work your way slowly, slowly down. Then I kind of added a frozen over stream or uh, lake or something, kind of going off into the left over there. I added all these pine trees up here and all these bushes and everything and weeds and all kinds of crap, man. I have some like, you can see there's some brown down here. I wanted to kind of have some of the underbrush kind of growing up and out. I didn't really want to keep this uh, like, completely white and gray and dark paints gray blue whatever I wanted to kind of add more of a bleakness to it which I actually I think I succeeded here but I've got some really good ideas in the future for some paintings and basically this is really something I did back in 2008 I like the way it turned out 
I think it turned out pretty damn good for somebody who only painted for about seven years or eight years up to that point. I've had some failures in the past. You know, every artist ends up, you know, like I said earlier, ends up making a lot of mistakes when you first start, right? But the thing is, you've got to keep working at it, working at it, working at it until you get your art uh, to the level that you want it. A lot of people kind of give up. But, you know, I want to keep getting better and better and better. I don't know why I actually stopped painting between 2012 or 13 and decided just to take a super long break, like 11-year break. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have done that. I probably would have had hundreds of more art, uh, artworks completely finished here. Now, one, one thing I'm going to be doing, too, is I got a black background here. And I just got some music in the background, kind of like stuff I normally would play when I do penny and stuff. So basically, I just want to kind of showcase the uh, the 16 by 20 canvas here. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, let me, let me try to, ah, let's leave it the way it is. It kind of looks slanted, don't worry about this. It's actually a square. It's actually 16 by 20, so don't even worry about that. 16 here, 20 all the way to this side over here. So... This is the uh, canvas and the easel I'm going to be painting on in the near future. I hope to start working on some new artworks probably maybe within a couple weeks. I'm trying to come up with some ideas. I'm trying to get some uh, ideas set in my head. Uh, I mean, like I said, I just come up with ideas. I just wing it, folks. I just wing it because I don't like looking at photographs and you know trying to uh, duplicate what's on that photograph. I kind of like just coming up with my own ideas, my own uh, my own particular landscape, stuff like that. This could be anywhere in the world, like I said, said earlier, could be anywhere in the world. You know, I, I hope you guys like this. I mean, I would, prefer, you know, I hope you subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs up and stuff like that and hit the views. You know, tell me what you think about the painting. And uh, if you want me to keep painting more stuff, I'm going to keep painting anyway. It doesn't make any difference. But I just... You know, since I'm almost completely retired from that uh, damn store, I decided I have more time to kind of do stuff like this. And I've been, I've been, th this has been in the back of my mind for probably about a few years, coming back and starting my own series of paintings again. And so basically that's what I'm going to do. But I kind of wanted to show you this particular painting. Some of you might hate it. Some of you might think it's too gloomy. Some of you might, you know, consider it a little doomy looking, you know, and, you know, you know, this, oh my God, where the hell is that? But I kind of like this painting. I like this painting. I think it turned out really good. Considering it's 2008, you know, when I was probably, I already had a whole bunch of paintings under my belt by that time, under my belt, so to speak, at that time. So basically, I just kind of wanted to uh, kind of recharge my batteries again and start painting again. I mean, I'm right here. See, I'm right here. <laughs> this is a nice uh, easel, by the way. Uh, this is the easel. I'm actually going to be starting to do some paintings in the other room. I have a corner of my uh, my front living room where I'm going to actually be working on new uh, artworks. And so, but I'll be showing some of these on a regular basis. So this is first in a series of uh, 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 images I will be showing you on YouTube and explaining how I did certain things. It's just standard brushes. You know, like the one inch, two inch brushes, you know, uh, you know, the super fine liners, stuff like that. I had hundreds and thousands of brushes when I was really hyped up on painting. And I've really uh, just rebought all of them again, repurchased all of them again, you know, because I ended, actually threw a lot of them away because I never thought I would go back to painting again. But the bug caught me about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I started thinking, man, you should go back to do this again. You should be going back and putting new, new artworks out. Because you know you love to do this, Bradley, so just do it. You know, like I said, I only worked two days up at that crappy-ass job. So I got lots of time now to do my other type of videos, like Spidey Presents, you know, Penny and all that kind of stuff. And, of course, my new painting uh, series. And I actually might uh, do a live on painting series, too, where I actually take a blank canvas, you know, and just start working on it from the sky down and show you how I actually do stuff and how it actually comes to life. And so basically, you know, I'm kind of like, I look, really loved Bob Ross because I used to watch his PBS show every, whatever it was, during the weekdays, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon or one o'clock in the afternoon. You know, I 
I really love that man a lot. It's too bad he passed away about 30 years ago. Uh, and then we got Terry Redlin. Uh, there's so many artists, I can't even begin to name them. He passed away about eight years ago. And I think Thomas Kincaid is still around. And then you got William Alexander, who passed away quite some time away too. But I'm just talking about some of the people that really inspired me. Uh, but I've, I used to collect artworks from people all over the world, man. You know, just people did, you know, like wildlife scenes, summer scenes, camping scenes, winter scenes, things like that. And I basically just wanted to kind of like become and do what they were doing. And I really got inspired by all these type of people, man, all these great artists and stuff like that. I really enjoyed looking at their... I used to collect some of their photographs and some of their catalogs and their you know, their uh, coffee table books and stuff like that, which I still have, actually. I looked through some of those coffee table books and go, God damn it, that is absolutely stunning. These guys were so good, man. There's so zillions of artists all over the world. If you go to YouTube and punch in oil paintings, there's a lot of great artists on YouTube, folks. If you want to check out some really great artists, man, Go to YouTube and punch in uh, oil painters and oil, you know, canvas art on YouTube, the search box. You'll find some really great artists. Oh, my God. I don't know why I got away from it. Like I said, I just kind of went into a mind funk. I'm not sure why I did that. You know, I kind of, I think the problem was I kind of get, I kind of got bored with painting. I had already achieved a certain level in my quality, at least the quality I think is good. And I basically decided to, well, that's enough for a while. But I don't know why it took such a long break. Like I said, it's it's been almost 10, God, almost 10 years since I did a painting, man. I should have started back on this maybe about oh, years ago, years ago. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you this because I'm not sure a lot of you knew that I actually painted on canvas and I actually used to do stuff like this. I actually used to sculpt too. I have a number of sculptures on the market and I actually used to do a lot of different stuff. I used to be a diorama builder. I used to be a, a miniature painter. I used to do a lot of stuff besides my YouTube videos and stuff like this. So this was just one of my interests way back in the day. And uh, I'm gonna continue with this again because I think the bug is reaffected Bradley. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta come back and do this again, man. I just, I, I miss this so much. I miss this so badly, folks. I miss this badly, man. I don't even understand why I stopped, man. Maybe just boredom or something. I decided to go in a different direction. You know, I was working more at my job. I was working out at the gym more. I didn't have time to make the other videos, paint on canvas, you know, stuff like that. And I basically decided that well, now that I got more free time, now that I got more free time, I'm going to start going back to my paintings again. And I can't really wait to get started pretty soon. I'm kind of trying to come up with some ideas that will basically inspire me. You know, I just kind of look at, you know, the thing is with me, I just kind of like look at the canvas and just start from the top right up here and work my way downward. And basically, I just kind of like, and then once I get the sky done, like I mentioned earlier, I get the sky done, right? And then you can come up with ideas right down in here and stuff like this. You know, is there like a cabin over here? Is there like a, is there like a series of cabins? Is there like, does the, does the little stream go way up here somewhere? It can get lost anywhere here, folks. It all depends on what you want to do on these uh, canvases. Your imagination is, uh, you know, you got to just let your imagination run wild here. You know, a lot of people give up on painting, but you know, if you stick with it, you stick with it, you can do this. You know, it just takes tenacity. Uh, you know, you, you got to be relentless, man. You got to, I mean, you don't have to quit your job or nothing like that, but you know, you can do this in your spare time. You try to improve from one painting to the next painting, right? That's the one thing. When I first started painting, you know, I wasn't very good. I wasn't very good. A lot of artists really aren't very good when they first start, you know? But the thing is, you've got to keep at it. You've got to keep at it. You know, if you've got, if you've got the, the heart of, a, uh, of an artist in you, then you will continue. You will get better. Practice makes perfect. That old saying is so true, folks. Practice makes perfect. 
You know, you may not become a world famous artist uh, in your lifetime, but if you're at least trying, it's, it's satisfactory to me. You know, I'm not really expecting to make billions of dollars off this. I never, yeah, I did sell a lot of prints back in the day, you know, on different uh, uh, shopping networks and stuff like that. And I still have a lot of them available, but I really kind of gotten away from the, the, the selling aspect of uh, uh, reproductions of my paintings. I really decided, I, you know, it seemed like a lot of trouble. You have to go and have your painting reproduced on paper. You have to set up a website. You have to do all that kind of stuff. You have to set prices for your paint, your, your uh, paper paintings, you know, your reproduction, stuff like that. It just got to be too time consuming. And it seemed like it was a lot of work besides I was bouncing back and forth between the gym, my job, you know, and starting my other type of videos. I just didn't have, you know, I only have so much time. You know, at 69 years old, I'm kind of running out of time, folks. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you this. I'm gonna go on this side. Of it. So, like I said, this was called Quiet Reflections. Let me get my fat ass out of the way. Quiet Reflections. Ah, like I said, it just came out of my goofy little brain. And, uh, you know, you, once you get a painting kind of done, you kind of like look at it and kind of come up with about 15 or different, 20 different titles. And basically you decide on which title fits the painting the best. And so basically, you know, I had probably about 10 different titles for this particular painting. And I decided, well, Quiet Reflections seemed like a pretty, uh, appropriate uh, title for this painting and uh, I hope you enjoy this I can't be you know we're already up to about 17 minutes here I kind of want to end this at about 18 18 and a half the same as my other videos on YouTube I don't want to go overboard here I don't think you know I think I actually did a pretty good job explaining this painting I haven't really fumbled my words too much and uh, but I wanted to kind of let you know what I kind of did in the past and what I'm going to be doing again in the future but like I said, you can expect a lot of different paintings in the future. You know, the ones I've already done, I'm going to do the same type of uh, uh, demonstration and uh, that I'm doing right here. So, you know, it's, uh, I hope I'm coming off halfway intelligent here. You know, like I said, I'm not feeling too well still, but the thing is, I am, uh, I just have some crest in my paint. I'm just having some fun here, folks. But like I said, if you really enjoyed this painting, please comment below. Please comment below on the description section of the YouTube uh, uh, video. I really, really, I really would like to uh, get some feedback on this. And uh, if you're interested in following me, you know, doing these paintings, I would really appreciate it. So, like I said, I've got to branch out a little bit. I did some rowing videos lately. And basically now we're going to do some uh, artwork videos. We're kind of branch out a little bit between Penny, Spidey, stuff like that. And uh, these type of paintings, original paintings. This is original. And of course my rowing videos. So, but I want to thank everybody for at least taking the time to look at this painting and listen to my babbles. And until next time, hopefully in a few days I'll show you another painting and we'll discuss that one too. But like I said, it's pretty basic, and I had a lot of fun doing this painting. Until next time, folks, see you at the art store.